Welcome. My name is Jesse and you are listening to The Wake Up Call. This show is about opening your eyes to how you've been living, bringing awareness to the standard you've been operating at, and helping you start living to your full potential. There are two ways I'll help you do this. One, by disciplining your mind, and two, by strengthening your body. It's time to take stock of your current performance and go to the next level. Let's do this. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of The Wake Up Call. This is episode 138, and we're going to be talking about what to do when you don't feel like exercising or doing your workout. Now, if you've ever had that feeling of not wanting to go and do a workout, go and hit the gym, or go and do your exercise routine, I want you to understand a significant concept here. You are not alone. You are not the only person in the world who has feelings of not wanting to go and exercise, not wanting to go train, not wanting to go and lift weights, not wanting to go and perform whatever it is that your routine requires of you. Newsflash, we all have those fucking feelings, me included. I'm not going to stand here and, you know, sit on my high horse and pretend that I am superior to any person and say, I don't have those feelings, because I do. There's a lot of times where I don't feel like going and getting it done. There's a lot of times where I would rather sit on the couch and eat a bag of fucking chips. There are times where I would prefer to, you know, watch Netflix or, you know, watch YouTube videos. Like I have these same inclinations and feelings and emotions that you do. All right, so you're not alone when, you know, these feelings emerge or maybe you're having this back and forth dialogue between yourself of, I should work out, but I don't want to work out. I should go and lift the weights, but I don't want to lift weights. I don't feel like doing it. Like we all feel this way at times. Me, you, your neighbor, your coworker, your teammate, the best, the worst, the fittest, the laziest, the strongest, the weakest, the, the greatest athletes of all time. Every single fucking person goes through this. Everybody. Nobody is immune to the feelings of not wanting to go on train, to not go on, you know, not wanting to go and hit the gym. We all have these feelings. So here's my advice to you for when you feel this way, when you don't want to go and lift the weights and go and do your training or do your exercise session. You don't feel like going and getting your exercise in. You don't want to go to the gym. You don't want to go and perform your workout. Do it anyway. I'm not really too sure of a high amount of people who would finish a workout and sit down or think to themselves, man, I really regret doing that workout. That was shit. I'm, I don't know why I did that. I regret it. But I know a lot of people who would have this conversation with themselves. Man, I really should have just fucking got off the couch and gone and did my workout. I really should have just packed my bag and, you know, headed off to the gym. There's a lot of people who fall into that category of, I should have done this, but I didn't, versus, I did this, I regret it. There's so many people in this world, you and me included, who have this internal dialogue, this back and forth battle of, I don't want to go and do the thing, but I should do the thing, but I don't feel like it. Yeah, I know, but you'll feel better for doing it afterwards. Yeah, but that's not the point. I don't want to do it right now. You know, it's, I'd rather stay warm and cozy, or I'd rather, you know, sink a deeper hole into this couch. Or, you know, I, I've, I've only got, you know, three more episodes of this, you know, Netflix series before, you know, it's done and then I'll go and do it. You know, we all have these feelings. But then what happens is if you give in to those temporary feelings and emotions, this is what happens. This is the dialogue that follows. Fuck, I hate myself for not going and training. I feel like a piece of shit. You know? I didn't do anything positive for myself today. I didn't follow through on my word. I didn't go and, you know, do something productive and powerful for my body. 
And now I feel weak. I feel helpless. I feel like I've let myself down. And you know what? In that moment in time, you have let yourself down. I'm not going to pat you on the back and say, well done for not doing what you should have done. But what I am trying to get across to you is this message. When you have a goal that you set for yourself, understand it's one thing to set the goal. It's another thing to actually do the thing that will get you to the goal. So when you don't feel like exercising, doing a workout, lifting the weights, do it anyway. Don't feel motivated. Don't feel inspired. I don't give a fuck. Go and do it anyway. Because you've proven it to yourself time and time again. You wake up. Oh, man, I'm groggy. I've got no energy. Don't really feel like going into work today. I'm not motivated. I'm not inspired. And do you know what you do? You get in your fucking car and you drive yourself to work. You put on your big boy pants and your shirt and your jacket and you get yourself to work. Because it's what a fucking grown up does. It's what an adult does. It's because you have a commitment to a fucking job. And you can apply that same mindset and that same attitude to your exercise routine, to your gym training, to your workouts. You can apply the same fucking thing. Don't feel inspired. Don't feel like doing it. Tough shit. Go and do it anyway. This is the mindset I want you to start to develop. Don't give in to your temporary feelings and those little things called emotions. It won't get you where you want to go. And I'm telling you right now, you won't ever regret doing something that actively pushes you towards your goals. But you will regret not doing something. You will regret not taking the actions that you needed to or that you said you were going to. Here's the deal, guys. You don't always have to be motivated to do something. You can do things with having little motivation, with having a medium amount of motivation, with having a high amount of motivation, or having absolutely none at all. You can do that. You are strong enough to do that. Okay? Don't feel like doing it. That's cool. Roger that. Noted. Go and do it anyway. There's a difference between what you feel like and what you can actually do. And you need to separate the two. Feelings, emotions, they're over here. Yeah, cool, they're there, understood. Now go and do it anyway. The exercise, the training, the physical routine, the discipline, that's really what it comes down to. I know I've got a workout to do. I know I have an exercise plan to follow. But did you do it? That's the follow through. That's the piece that most people miss because they give in to these little feelings and emotions. I don't feel like exercising. I don't want to work out. I'm not feeling inspired. I don't give a fuck. Your goal doesn't give a fuck. What matters is, did you do something to push you towards the goal or not? End of story. That's what you should be chasing. Is an outcome, is a fucking result, not a feeling. You don't need to be motivated to go and do it. Just because you don't feel like doing something, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. Especially if that's what your goals require of you. And I use this example to paint the picture. What do you do when you don't feel like going to work? Do you stay at home? Do you grab your phone and ring up your boss and say, hey boss, uh, I don't feel like working today. I just, I don't want to be there. I would rather be at home sitting. I'd rather be sitting at home on my couch in my pajamas. So I'm just going to do that. Do you tell your superior or, you know, the person above you, hey, I'm just not feeling it today. Um, I'm not feeling, you know, like I, like I want to be in there today. I don't really want to hang around my coworkers. I don't really want to do the work. So I'm just going to stay at home. Is that what you do? Or... Do you get in your car and go to work? Yeah, that's right. You get in your car and you go and do it anyway. So you, you, you can do it. You have that capacity. You have that ability to do it in some aspects of your life. It's just a matter of reminding yourself, hey, I've done other things in similar situations. Now you're applying it 
to the domain of your health, fitness, and strength. Because I'm telling you right now, <laughs> you're not always gonna feel like doing things in life. It's gonna be a shitload of times where you know, you're gonna have to do things you don't like and you don't want to. That's life, life is not fair, get over it, deal with it. What it ultimately comes down to is your commitment to the goal that you set and having the discipline and the conviction to do what's required in spite of how you may feel about it. So let's, let's use an example here. Let's say you've decided to train three days per week We'll use the Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, as the schedule, the training schedule, okay? On those days, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, you train, period. I don't care if you feel like it, you don't feel like it, or if you somewhat feel like it. If your commitment is, yes, Jesse, I can and will train Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's my expectation of you, and that's your expectation of you. But here's the thing, if you set that goal, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the expectation is here. And if your follow through is here, this gap between what you do versus what you say you will do, this gap is called disappointment. So if you set a routine of three days per week, I certainly expect you to uphold it. Because if you don't, all you're gonna be left with is a fuckload of disappointment. Why am I not getting any results? Why am I not seeing progress? Why am I not getting stronger? Why am I not building any more muscle? Well, you didn't follow through on your goals. It's pretty fucking simple. Expectations versus reality. You need to make sure that they marry up and line up. Otherwise, you're gonna be disappointed a lot of the time. That might sound harsh. You might hear that and think, Jesus, you're a fucking asshole. I'm not here to be your friend. I'm not here to pat you on the back. I'm not here to blow smoke up your ass. I'm not here to tell you you've done a good job if you haven't. I don't care if you're happy or sad about it. I don't care if you're inspired or uninspired. I don't care if you're motivated or unmotivated. I don't care if you're sore or you're not sore, energized or lethargic. If you set a training schedule of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, on a Monday, I expect that you train. On a Wednesday, I expect you to train. On a Friday, you guessed it, I expect you to train. Just go in there and do it anyway. And what you'll find is you will develop the discipline to do what you agreed upon. The rules of the game that you created, the standards that you have set. And here's the thing, if three days a week is unattainable or unrealistic, change them. Do two days a week. But if you do change the goalposts and change that to from a three days to a two days per week, here's the deal. You better, you sure as fuck better train on those two days a week. Because if all you do is keep dropping the standards lower and lower, understand that you're getting further and further and further away from your goal. Don't decrease the goal, increase the effort. So, my friend, if you are still listening, Here's the deal. The next time you don't feel like training, the next time you don't want to go to the gym, the next time you're not feeling up to lifting the weights, acknowledge it. Yep, I understand that. That's how I'm feeling. Roger that. That's duly noted. And go and do it anyway. Because the only thing stopping you from doing that is you. You are the problem and you are also the solution. Do not be at the mercy of your motivation. I feel like it, I don't feel like it. Because it will let you down any chance it fucking gets. Discipline, however, will carry you through the good times, the bad times, the indifferent times, and all of the trying times. When your back's against the wall, when you feel good, when you feel bad, and anything in between. It's easy for anybody to train when they're inspired and motivated and energized. But what about when you're not those things? Can you then follow through? That's what we're chasing. That's what I want for you. I want you to be able to, in under any circumstances, be able to say, this is my goal, this is what I've told myself I'm doing, and then you go and fucking do it, you execute. All right, few people can do that. 
become one of the few. So whenever you feel like training, whenever you don't feel like training, whenever you're feeling inspired, energized, motivated, whatever fucking word that you use, when you start to want to talk yourself out of it, call yourself out on your own bullshit. Your bullshit detector should be finally fucking tuned by now if you've listened to this many episodes. When you start having that conversation with yourself, I should do the thing, but I don't want to do the thing. Call yourself out on it and go and do it anyway. If you loved the Wake Up Call, found it entertaining, or got some benefit out of listening, I would appreciate you helping me to spread the word. Please share it with a friend or on social media so that you can pay it forward and give someone else the opportunity to improve themselves like you just have. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon for another episode.